Welcome to Gravity Labs Curiosity to Know. Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the one part of future mobility that will revolutionize the way humans and material is being transported. So let's begin the journey. In 19th century, for first time, travel using vacuum tape was made into the picture. The concept was termed as atmospheric railways, which work on the principle of pressure difference. But they use a combination of a piston and a cylinder arrangement for work, but it never made a commercial hit. So after almost two centuries, in 2012, Elon Musk proposed the concept of similar kind, but in different manner. Instead of making small tube, he made the tube for the transportation of pod over long distances. And he proposed it to approach nearly 1 Mach, which is approximately 1000 km per hour. If this technology will become true, then we can wind the journey of 1.5 hours in just 6 minutes, which leads it to the fastest mode of transportation on the planet ever made by the human beings in the history of humans. After proposition of Hyperloop, he published it as a 53-page report as open source for everyone. Because he don't have a time to develop a new industry for it due to its commitment for Tesla and SpaceX. So after that, many venture capitalists, engineers and entrepreneurs joined their hand for this marvel project of mankind. Organizations like Virgin Hyperloop, Transport, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies and many more come into the picture. But after some time, Elon Musk also decided to make his own hyperloop under the SpaceX. Present Scenario As being the open source design, a lot of design companies like Ansys in 2013 ran a computational fluid dynamics analysis for pod. Open Madao released the model for propulsion system and MATLAB is working for the routes that can be proposed on the earth. Elon Musk's one more interest for this technology is that it can be useful for his dream Mars 2030. This technology would not require any tube on Mars due to 1% atmosphere present there. It can be useful for the transportation system that will be developed on the Mars in the upcoming years. On May 2016, for the first time, the prototype is run successfully by Hyperloop. They created 1600 feet long tube tunnel in Nevada desert and creating vacuum inside the tube for the test. They ran the slider model with only structure for the test. After almost 100 years in transportation, this successful milestone by Hyperloop 1 will provide them with leading edge in this amazing tubular transportation system. They have also used the chance to show up their pod prototype that will carry the humans and the goods that will one day provide by the vacuum tubes network spread over the country all over the world. They also organize a competition for the proposed route which I will let you know at the end that which country are going to have their first hyperloop routes. So let's talk about the competition organized by SpaceX in 1516 that is hyperloop pod competition. They gave challenge of making most efficient pod design. So they built a 1.6 km long tunnel for the pod testing in Howth Throne, which is a SpaceX headquarter. As they have no interest in building a commercial hyperloop, so they are only doing it for the sake of its development acceleration. More than 700 teams participated in the preliminary design, and on January 29, 2017, Defit Hyperloop by Defit University of Technology won the competition by beating the Munich and MITs. So let's see what the top three teams have to say about their design. To be able to demonstrate a bunch of different technologies and to be able to demonstrate that they scale up really well. So we are using passive magnets for levitation. We are using eddy current brakes to stop us and we are again using uh, eddy current lateral control modules to keep us stable. We are one of the very few pods in the competition that have a bigger compressor up front. What that compressor does is it sucks the remaining out uh, that is still inside of the tube, passes through the pod and expels it in the back. 
Uh, so it helps minimize the drag that the remaining air would cause for the pod. So we're quite confident. We came to another concept of the iFlu based on levitation on permanent magnets instead of air bearings. Um, and that's something that really uh, triggered the judges last January. Due to requirement of such a fine infrastructure to run this technology, critics have questioned the practicality of this technology. Will it be present for riding in a steel capsule inside a steel steel tunnel? Will passenger will be able to absorb the g-force produced due to that much amount of speed? What if the misalignment of the pod happened? And what will they do? What if power would go when the pod will be a mile away from the station? How will the passenger will be evacuated in such a case? How will they handle the every dirt and grime of the everyday? How will they manage the malfunction and emergency evacuation? So these are some of the more important questions that has to be answered by this technology. And we hope that this technology is going to answer it in a practical way. So we would like to know from you that what do you all think about these questions? So please tell us in the comment below. So now let's talk about that how much this project is going to cost us in the future. So for the proposed route from San Francisco to Los Angeles, it is going to cost us a $6 billion, which is much less than the rail network high speed. So why not we think about this technology? As this technology is faster, cheaper, and cleaner. So guys, let's find out the winning routes for the competition. So now let's find out what Elon Musk has to say about this technology. Special case of cities which have a lot of travel between them, below about 500 miles of distance, where um, I think the Hyperloop would be useful. It is a special case solution because once the distances get, get long, then the amount of time that an aircraft takes to as ascend and land, which is most of what it does in a 500 mile trip, that percentage declines and then it's better to just use aircraft. I know that there are various companies that are trying to create uh, the Hyperloop and uh, honestly I think it's a lot easier than, than people think. So this is it from the video. We hope you guys have liked the video. So please share and subscribe to our channel and tell us about what you think about this technology in the comments below. Till then, tada, bye bye and sayonara.